Okay, and now we have the Rucker Armadillo trousers to match the jacket. It's exactly the same construction as the jacket with, again, a 500 denier cordura with armor core inserts on the knees and on the back. So in the impact areas and in the sliding areas, you've got the extra protection of Kevlar and Cordura. On the rear of the, of the trouser, again, we've got an anti-glide seat. So that lifts you off the seat, stops you sliding around on the bike as much when cornering. And again, lifts you off the seat so that, you can, so that your skin can breathe so you don't get that clammy, wet sensation when you're sitting on either a hot seat or a wet seat. On the top of the jacket, of the trouser, sorry, we've got 360 degree connecting zip to attach the jacket in the event of an accident so that it doesn't come apart. And that can connect to any rucker jacket, not just the matching armadillo jacket. You've got dual adjusters either side, which mean that the central zip can stay in the same place and you can adjust it those few extra inches if you need to. Inside the trouser, we've got a 60 gram thermal lining. Our thermal linings uh, attach via a zip around the top and two zips at the bottom. So you don't get that process where you pull your leg out and the whole lining comes out with it, which is a huge advantage in trousers. On the outside of the trouser, we've got a TFL cool coating. The problem with black trousers is that they absorb heat. So if you add a TFL cool coating onto it, it will reflect 70 to 80% of the sunlight, so it will keep you cooler on those hot summer days, and you can wear it all year round. The trousers come in two different leg lengths. So we do a, a C1 and a C2, C1 being short leg and C2 being regular length, so that anyone can fit into the trousers. And there are also ladies' sizes available, again, in C1 and C2. That's the 2010 armadillo trouser.